Yo, what is up guys, back with another video and today I'm going to show you how to get diamond camo on your pistols. I know you got, uh, so today we're just gonna go over how to get diamond on your pistols. It's pretty difficult for the magnum, only the, consec the consecutive kills is kinda, it's like, hard. Uh, the three kills rapidly, it's pretty easy. Ten kills rapidly, that's easy. The elite kills, I believe, is like the easiest because they're like one shots. It one shots uh, elite zombies, and then just 2,500 kills, 2,500 critical kills, and 2,000 kills with the pack punch. And just just to let you guys know, I'm going to be using using the magnum so you guys know that it's well it's, i'm just showing you the hardest pistol to get my magnum was my first was my first diamond so i'm going to show you guys the best strategy to get diamond camo on your pistols so as you already saw from the intro uh me doing that transition that actually took me a while and i'm gonna do them to all three all the three pistols so i did the magnum so i'm gonna do it for the 1911 and the thematis the 1911 i'm only gonna do two maps nuketown and uh satellite because uh the thing is kind of slow all right so if you're using the magnums and you have it max level these are the attachments you should use Flash guard, point forty five APC. Wait, why do I have this equipped? And the uh, you should have the seven point seven point two task force. The mounted flashlight just increased salvage. Don't go with the ember sight because even though it gives you some pros, another pro for hip fire accuracy, you also get two cons. So I would recommend using the mounted flashlight. Magazine, use the salvo twelve round fast mag handle airborne elastic you don't have to use stock you could use a you could use a optic if you want but i don't all right so what you want to do is just get to stay in spawn while well, i'm doing firebase z i'm going to do a hold up i'm just gonna turn down my light. all right so what you want to do is just well, I'm just gonna. What you want to do is just, uh, just go on spawn, and then you just want to aim at the zombie, and then move your weapon a little bit up, and then just get the critical kill. And you just want to keep doing this until round seven. So you stay in spawn until round, s or sorry, round six. You want to stay here until round six. You guys could go ahead. Well, you don't have to stay at spawn. You just start, uh, you start like doing the power around at round six. So, you could open this door if you have enough on round two. And you could just stay here. And actually, you should have the power already on by round six. Sorry, I'm just so a bit confused right now, even though I'm making this, but you just want to just stay until like here until uh, you hit. So once you buy this door, you need 2,750 points. Then you could just turn on the ETH reactor. So 2,750 points. And then once you finish with this one, you need 2,000 750 points for that that way and for the data center and the uh, jungle defenses so right now you could just aim headshot zombies and yeah uh, I'll be back once I have the power back on
all right so once you have all of them done i don't you don't really if you have all the attachments i told you guys to put on your magnum you shouldn't not be able to uh well you didn't you don't really need to uh like upgrade your rarity but once you finish all reactors you should upgrade your gun but if you don't have all the attachments that i have and and it's just not doing that much damage then you could just upgrade your rarity also uh i usually don't aim at the head i usually just do a hip fire i usually just hip fire the zombie in the head if you have aim assist on then it would be it, it's gonna be much easier but there it is round seven and then we want to do if you have enough points go pack a punch go Get your perks well if you have or if you have 7500 i believe you could buy dead shot and pack a punch so pack a punch and dead shot dead shot is the first one you want to do and then now you now you could just aim it if you're on console with aim assist on just spam it so like if there's a bunch of zombies you just keep spamming it like that and also with the mimic, if you have dead shot, if you have dead shot, if so, this is actually pretty cool. But if you have a pack a punch and you're you have dead shot with insta kill and your upgrade tier for common, it actually just one shots mimics. I don't know about uh, megatons, but mimics it's too easy. It's just too easy to kill them. So what you want to do is just you could prop you could just stay at a spawn for until round 11, which is your first exfil, and then you want to go to the colonel's office. But if you don't want to, you could just wait until round eight, like what I'm on right now, or you could wait until round nine, and then you go to the colonel's office. And usually you could get this you could get this gold in about two to three games i say around four games but each it depends if if you have four or if you get 500 headshots each match then it will be four matches but if you get around 1000 a match then it'll take a well you need to have like 1000 we at least have to get like 800 a match to 800 headshots a match and that will be like two matches and then you don't have to worry about your headshots anymore then all you all you want to do is just keep just keep shooting aiming just keep aiming and everything and actually i recommend you doing the bunny easter egg so you can get your free juggernaut so what I recommend is using the last zombie of that round and like kill it once you're about to go in the bunny. So like if this was the last zombie, I'll kill it and then quickly aim at the bunny. Some people say to shoot it, it uh, speeds it up, but it doesn't. All you gotta do is just keep looking at it, that's it. You gotta look at it for 20 to 15 seconds, that's it. Also, I'm sorry I haven't um, just made a normal video. I've been just live streaming is because I've been working a lot on my uh, on my levels, and I was just too lazy, so I just streamed. So it'll be much faster because I don't have to edit or anything. Just press a button, boom. Alright, so right now I'm on round 10. You should be able to do the bunny easter egg if you did turn on the power at round 7. You should be able to do the bunny easter egg if you did pack a punch on round 7. Or you should be able to do the bunny easter egg to get the free jug around round 8. You could just knife it if you want just to save some ammo, kill the zombies, but when mimic spawn, you just want to kill them. You just want to kill them fast. Just keep shooting fast. It'll die very, very fast. 
and then you just wanna you can shoot this one if you want you could uh, just melee it or yeah you could just melee it but when the mimic spawn you want to quickly kill the mimic because you don't have that much time in a dark aether and then after that you just want to shoot you either want to shoot or knife melee and then just go over to the yellow light if you want a legendary just wait until it hits yellow and then boom legendary so i got the ksp but the juggernaut is right here and then you just have it could either be a lethal or tactical, but I got both lethal, so... After, you, after you've done this, you want to go over to Colonel's office, so do not buy that door. Whatever you do, do not buy that door. Only buy this door if you're like... You have tier 3 Pack-A-Punch on your weapon, and uh, it doesn't do that much damage, well, for like the, the Maddies or something, but only buy the store over there at the Colonel's office if you need to upgrade immediately. So I already have Diamond on my... Uh, I already have diamond on my uh, pistol, so right now I'm just gonna use this KSP just for a bit, and then I'm gonna switch back over to the Magnum. Alright, so I'm on round 11, I was just using my KSP, so you just want to head over here to Military Command, where Jug is, and then you want to go up here up to the Colonel's Office. I know you guys watch a lot of YouTubers use the Colonel's Office for their challenges, but if you're running out of ammo, or like a Mangler spawns in and you like have to reload, just uh... All you want to do is just, uh, quickly, you want to, if you're on, uh, PlayStation, just double tap the triangle button. I don't know what it is on uh, Xbox, I think it's, uh, I think it's X, or I think it's Y, but I don't play on Xbox, so whatever it is for you guys on Xbox to switch your weapon, just switch it just quickly double tap it so like if i do this and i have to reload just double tap your switch button and then just use your uh use your ring of fire and then you can reload it in your ring of fire and then you quickly just keep shooting so you just want to stay here until like round 20 or once you get at least like 800 or 600 and then after that, you just want to go and then exfil, or if if the round you're on right now, and uh, if you're on the run right now, you could just exfil at the next uh, exfil round. But I'm gonna exfil now because right now they're just going a double XP event right now, so I'm just gonna exfil. So you just want to stay here until you get like 600 to 700. Uh, 600 to 700, uh... Headshots, and... And yeah. You just want to keep staying, keep killing, keep killing. I died because I'm trash at the game. And... Just try to be careful because sometimes the zombies could kill you. Consecutive kills, all you want to do is just like get close range, use Ring of Fire. Ring of Fire is the best, or you could just use Ether Shroud, which is m much more easier. And then you just want to exfil. Also, it'll take like four games just to get like 800 each game, so 
Yeah, that's how you guys get diamond on your pistols. It took me three days just to get my pistols. What each day was one gold. First was Magnum, then one nine eleven, then my Dematis. So hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.